there is one thing that bothers me the most. And so many people tell me that I cannot negotiate a salary. And yeah, I'm thinking about what happened yesterday on Facebook. Some of you may be watching this, some of you don't, but honestly, here's my take. You know, I've already taken a job. I already started working at that job. Now I have a job that is paying me a certain rate per hour. Yeah, while well, living in a pandemic, that didn't stop New York City from increasing the minimum wage to twelve fifty an hour. Doce cincuenta la hora en Nueva York. Para los que hablan español, si le están pagando menos, vaya a la concentrada porque no le deben de estar pagando menos. Deben de estar pagando doce cincuenta la hora. So New York State increases minimum wage to twelve fifty an hour. We're talking that asking for a salary per hour for a rate of fifteen dollars an hour is two dollars and fifty cents above the minimum wage. Now, you may be asking, like, why I'm saying this? Like, right now, my job is paying me slightly above fifteen dollars an hour, and yeah, it's a big company, it's a bigger company. They 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 have you know have more um, places in in across New York State compared to one company that might be in one particular spot. Even then, even then. The one thing that bothers me the most is like when manufacturing jobs just want to pay the minimum. Like it's no longer even worth working manufacturing, you know. And I like manufacturing. I went for school for engineering. I like making things, you know, at home. So working manufacturing, I enjoy it, you know. But they are paying so little late, lately that is disgusting. They are not. And it's not all manufacturing companies because there are manufacturing companies that are beginning to pay more. Um because they recognize that they need to pay more to their employees if they want to attract the employees and keep them. Um, but not all manufacturing companies are paying um, a lot. Some manufacturing companies, they still want to pay slightly above the minimum wage, which is ridiculous because these are technical. You're working with your hands. You are The job is repetitive, but you're working with your hands. Sometimes you have to have a little bit of knowledge to be able to do the job that you're asked to do, you know. Um, so it's not like you, you can hire anyone to work in that place. Although in some cases, they probably can't hire anybody. But still, they're paying very little money on that. And um, so I had this job offer with this company. I'm not going to say name. I, I said it on Facebook, but I'm not going to say names. But they offer me thirteen twenty an hour. I'm getting paid way more at my other job, and um, so I decided to ask to see if they could give me a higher pay rate. Upper management decided that they were not going to negotiate the salary. Um, so here's the thing when. When you do keep everything out, like upper management doesn't want to negotiate the salary, but the thing is, like, if New York State continue increasing the minimum wage every year, and this year they may probably have to review that because um, there's a note in in the New York State website that says that they will have to review that and see what they're going to do in the next coming years, you know. But there are some places already that are pay, paying fifteen dollars an hour for workers, so. Eventually, I think that New York State is going to move fifteen the minimum wage to fifteen dollars an hour. I think it's going to happen um, sooner or later. Um, I could be wrong though, but if that is the case, then companies that are paying below the fifteen dollars an hour eventually will have to pay fifteen dollars an hour, whether they like it or not. So, what I ask is something based on like realistic expectation. Also, two dollars and fifty cents above the minimum wage is nothing, honestly. Some nothing compared to what an upper management person may be earning, you know, which like I have worked as an engineer, so like, and they're great for a chemical entry level chemical engineering working for the state is like about fifty five thousand a year. So fifteen dollars an hour doesn't even come close to fifty five thousand a year, you know. So somebody in management if they are earning like fifty thousand a year, yeah. Paying fifteen an hour is is like it's almost nothing. Eventually, they will have to pay that to not on, if they continue increasing the minimum wage. Eventually, that company will probably have to pay that same wage to all employees across the company, and that's the thing. Um, so, I don't know. Um, 
So yeah, I have no regrets of asking for for more money. I think you people are willing to negotiate. People forget that they can negotiate. Like one time I went to an apartment and the person that made the posting, he said that he was willing to negotiate. The apartment was the the home in the apartment was being rented for three hundred, but they said they were willing to negotiate. And then I say I ask him it says that you're willing to negotiate and the person says like, sure, name your price. And I'm one like 275. And he goes like, sure. And so I got an apartment for two, instead of 300, 275, just because I dare to ask. I'm that kind of person, you know, I don't think there's anything wrong, especially when you have already a job. Like, I think it's ridiculous to think that a person is going to move to another job for less. I mean, it, it, if somebody does it good for you, but in my opinion, like most people will move to a salary that will to another job that will pay the same or more, you know. Um, and if you have a job that is bringing you a certain income, you want you might probably want to keep that income. And uh, if you're looking for an, for another opportunity, if they don't offer you what you the same amount of money, there's nothing wrong to to ask for more, you know. Um, and, and 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 it's crazy like companies expect like that that people are not going to negotiate you know that they're just going to take whatever they're given you know i, I don't honestly like, like one time i was working in uh, clifton park in a warehouse and my pay was at that time 13 dollars an hour and um and um and then uh I had a job interview in another warehouse, and they're like, well, we're going to pay you $12 an hour. I told the person, listen, I'm getting paid a dollar more over there. Can you match me the, the salary per hour? It's like, no, we don't want to do that, but we give you benefits. It's like, yeah, benefits are going to be my net paycheck less, you know. And the problem is just that. It's that people are not prepared for that, you know. People think that, oh, we, we just can give this and hope that somebody will walk out the door. And the thing is, like, I understand that it's part of the market system and yada yada, and companies don't need to give you anything or shit. But, like, honestly, there's nothing wrong in asking for a higher pay rate, you know. There's nothing stopping anybody from doing that. And I don't, I, I honestly, I'm looking out for myself because I got that, I need a certain income. And if I can get a better income by asking, I'm going to ask. Worst case I can say is like, no. It could also cost me a job opportunity in some cases. And I understand that too. But at the same time, it's like, what other options will I have to, you know?